Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. Do you realize what you believe is what you believe and no one's going to convince you otherwise? And here's the reason I'm bringing this up. It comes to my attention with a lot of people that many times we're in relationships and these relationships are good for the first few years and all of a sudden things start crumbling down because our beliefs seem to shift. One of the things when you meet someone for the very first time, understand you're usually on your best behavior. You're usually pulling your beliefs into theirs and they're pulling theirs into yours and so they can, everybody can get along and they can appear to be liking the same thing you like. And this can wear on for some time. Usually after about 90 days, people in new relationships start noticing the cracks and the flaws in the other person. And what I mean by that is the things about that other person that they either disagree with or they don't like. Well, as we move along in life, that also takes place in our marriages even later in life. Many times you'll notice marriages break up either after 7, 14, or 21 years. If it makes it to 30 years, that's even a fragile place. So the thing that we have to take a look at is our belief system. Each one of us is raised in a different way. Even if we're twins with someone, we're still raised differently. And the things we believe, the things we understand, come to us with a different set of circumstances, which therefore transforms our beliefs, starting at a very young child. When we attempt to convince someone about what we believe, and it's contrary to what they believe, there's no way we're going to change that. What we have to do is become really, really tolerant of those people. This is very common with generational misalignment, as we call it. And what that means is our children don't believe the same thing we do, even though they're raised by us. The reason for that is, is because they've been raised under different circumstances. Even though they're raised by us, they have different teachers, different schools. They have cell phones now, which we didn't. Different kinds of cars. So their belief system is much different than yours, even though they may have been brought up in a household with Republican or Democratic politics, or they may be brought up in wealth or poverty, their belief system is different. Many times people grow up in a family and they leave that family and they are nothing like that family they were raised in. Because deep down inside, we each are born with a DNA coding that gives us certain capabilities, talents, and skills that are kind of exclusive to us, which makes each one of us very, very special. You know, you might not be the best looking guy in the class. However, there are things about you that are very special that other people don't have. You may not be the most popular girl in your school or in your business. However, you have unique qualities and skills that are coded into your DNA. And then transposing that into the things that you believe make you a very unique person. What we have to do and what I want you to work on right now is in your life right now, everyone is into, into a lot of stress. You're probably into it yourself. I know I feel it right here, working with all of you and even my own stuff. We have a lot of stress, which makes our tolerant level go down. When our tolerance goes down, wow, the truth really comes out. I want you to pay particular attention to your beliefs and how you attempt to transpose on, uh, on other people or how they attempt to convince you about their beliefs and maybe yours are wrong. Neither one of them are wrong. What you have to really pay attention to is be tolerant of another person's beliefs because they are brought up in a whole different way, a whole different time, a whole different set of circumstances. So it's being tolerant of diversity. It's being tolerant of different beliefs and understanding we all have a right to be here. And if we weren't all different, this would be a very boring place. Today, in your family, with your kids, and that's where it starts. Be tolerant of the differences between not only your children, but your children and you. Be tolerant between you and your spouse. Even though you may have fallen in love and thought you have all of these things in common, there's probably, probably not that much in common when you really get down to it. So it's learning how to tolerate. It's learning how to be with that anyway and find the good in people rather than the things that you don't like. We can always find something we don't like in someone. The magic is finding the things you do like and stick with it. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary asking you to be tolerant. It's a lot easier. Life's too short not to be. Bye-bye.